Hello there. I know I thought I'd do something a little bit different than what I normally do. And let's talk about tailors. You know, movie tailors. And how movie tailors have gone down the shitter lately. Let's go back into the golden days of old films, whether it be Ben Dulcich's Dracula, to Christopher Lee's Dracula, to the old Bond films, and so on. You know how they used to market? Now in the 30s, yeah, we had music, but it also marketed you. It sold you in the rays of what films were like. But nowadays, when Sony took over doing trailers, you get the fucking MTV trailer. You're probably wondering what I mean by that. That is all you fucking get for a fucking trailer. Every time I watch a fucking movie trailer, it sounds like I'm going to fucking run out and get some fucking paracetamol or headache tablets because it doesn't sell me. All it fucking does is give me a fucking headache. I shit you not. I get a spitting fucking headache every time I watch a fucking movie trailer. Remember the days when you had some fun who did the voice and they used to sell you? And they used to sell you the film. Get ready for the next Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. It sees the eat of your body. It sees the eat of your fear. You probably wonder what I'm talking about. Think about the original Predator trailer back in 87. Or even the Bond trailers. The best selling books for me and Fenning is now a bit motion picture. Yep, yeah, Dr. No. Even I remember the old trailers from the days of so on. From the old trailers to the trailers through the 80s. But now, now it feels like trailers have gone genetic. They've gone lazy. It's like they can't be bothered selling you anything anymore. Everything just sounds like you're watching a fucking MTV movie. Caesar, I'm not making this shit up. You know, every trailer... What is it? Can they not get someone to sell things anymore? Can they not get someone to market anymore? Can they not even get anyone to do the fucking voice anymore? I tell you what, I tell you what, for free Hollywood, for fucking free, if you're that fucking cheap and that lazy, I'll fucking add and I'll sell you fucking movies. But it's two, it's fucking two. The Hollywood, when it comes to marketing, in trailers, the generic, the shit, and the fucking noisy as fuck. Here's another example for trailering, when it comes to movie trailers. How many times do you fucking hear some asshole say, This from the sun is the best movie ever. Daily Miller. It's the best movie ever. This ticket here says it's the best movie since he had his first fucking lost his fucking virginity. This movie here is the best movie since he had his first bit of fun. Seriously, every fucking one of these tailored people always come out with the same shit. When you do get a monolod, sorts and sorts of tickets said this, yeah. And I'm sure it's the same fucking movie ticket. What shagged the movies off, what I used to love when I was a lad. Same fucking tickets. And then they're coming up with shit. Saying, oh yeah, it's the best movie we ever did. Now if you don't get that, you get Sony ads. I get to by Sony, but fuck it. You get Sony ads. What sound like they're doing a fucking MTV video. You know, bam, bam, blah, 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 blah. Every fucking one of them tailors you can guarantee you will hear that fucking horrible thumping fucking music. What just makes you want to go and get a fucking aspirin? Thank you for giving me a fucking headache. But the days of trading, when you could sell films, was a good error. You had someone who did the voice, someone who knew what the fuck they were doing, and they knew how to market and sell a film. Other than that, bring back them tailors. The tailors when someone knew what the fuck they were doing and knew how to advertise and sell a movie. That's right. Sell a movie. Unlike nowadays where Hollywood are piss fucking lazy and can't even be bothered to get someone to do a monologue. Here's another one. 
How many tailors? Back to this old year, all the fucking mover. I shit you not. They fucking sold you all the fucking mover. You might as well not fucking bother what's in the film because you're back to the scene it all even before you fucking see the film. How many sailors do that? How many? Bring me back to the days when you don't have MTV do, 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 noisy fucking tailors. A fucking tailor what sells you back to that Medini Migo and fucking end. And someone that does the fucking days of a moral odd and could sell a movie. And don't give me this false appetising when you get someone who back to says, Chick it, say this is the best flipping films if they have their first fucking ordassle. Because to me, that is false appetising. you got your MTV, or you've got a tailor what back to the source, you fucking everything. I shit you not, everything. Other than that, that's the tailors I love to go through. The tailors when you had someone that sold you the movie. Here's one. Don't be afraid. Be very, very, very afraid. Remember that tailor? I reviewed it weeks and weeks ago. It was called the Phi 2, as well as the original Phi. Now, tainted the original Phi tailor didn't have a lot of mo a monologue, meaning someone that sold it, but it's too sold at you. Didn't be a fucking headache and sound like a fucking MTV tailor. See, that? I missed the days I've had like that. It's like the posters I did. Remember the posters? Generic, laser, boring, unimaginative. Whatever happened to the days when you had a poster? What sold the fucking film? Nowadays you do get posters to sell the film. Bear with me as I saw you one when I think really did mark it. Bear with me. See this? You can see it. See how that sells? How that markets on the original days of Bond before they went generic and selling stuff? Look at that. Dold finger. Connery looking smooth like me. Beautiful dold woman. That is. The laser was, I think, with the laser was red. So they made it look a fuck up there. It's not, um, what colour is it? It's not blue. It was red. But, you know, they always make mistakes when they do a, a tailor, you know, marketing. But, See how that fucking sold? That fucking sold me. And like the days where it's generic, laser, and they don't give a fine shit. So that's something else. Trailers have gone fucking laser. They're generic, they sound like an MTV fucking ad. Or they're a piece of fucking shit. Bring back the days when I used to like fucking proper trailers. Into them. Have a good one. And I'll keep you in touch for when I get back to work and so on. Until then, see you later.